Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, the Anniversary Edition. Alright everyone, welcome back to the pack. We are here with Hanu and his Mimahala, and they are sitting here after Kev King killed a rabbit. They're not quite hungry yet, but their health is a little low um, from hunting earlier on. So they stop to rest now, and Hanu has the um, hair in his mouth, and he's looking so freaking cute with it as well. I cannot handle it right now. <laughs> he's just looking so adorable. So, um, we, it is night, of course. Mahala is staring at us intently, because I think she wants the rabbit. I actually haven't played this game in a little bit, so I don't know how to drop it. Um, <laughs> let me look here. I actually forget how to drop the rabbit. I think it's, I think it's just space. Is it just space? It might just be space. Yeah, okay, we're gonna drop it and she, and we're gonna back away and she can eat it if she likes. Um, we are tired, so we are gonna sleep, but I will point out, you guys, that, there you go, Mahala, good girl, we are in Stranger Wolf Pack territory. We are in the Wapiti Pack territory. Now, we are in a part of the territory um, that is a little not as scent marked as the other part so we're gonna take the chance and fall asleep here for the night because we are so exhausted um and we'll see what happens yep so sleepy but we're gonna do it you guys all right guys we awoke mahala is howling Oh, what is she howling about? I don't see anything. <gasps> oh, there's a wolf off in the distance. Oh, let's go greet them. Ahanu is definitely most curious. And I think that he definitely would want to uh, greet this wolf. So let's go after him. Let's see if we can enter scent mode and see where he went. She's still howling. So this wolf must be. He's a male. Oh. Okay, you guys. So this wolf is a male and he's actually running from us almost. But we're going to go after him and see if we can't scare him off. Okay, here we go. Oh, he looks like a small wolf. Let's get after him. Oh, we got him. Oh, gosh. Oh, he didn't have a lot of health to begin with. Okay, let's go. Now, this wolf might actually be one of Mahala's pack mates because I'm pretty sure Mahala was from the Wapiti pack area. She was one of their wolves. So this might actually be her kin that we are chasing right now. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, we're losing, we're not actually losing stamina, so let's keep going. There we go. Oh, there we go. Got him. Man, he's quick. He's quicker, but Ahanu is definitely quicker. Okay, Mahala. Oh, look at her tail. Rage, she knows. And she is showing him who is boss. When they have their tails raised like that, that actually means that they are superior to that other wolf. Oh, is she going to go after him? I think she is. Oh, oh gosh, he's he's like running around. He does not know where he's going. Um, okay. I think we have him scared. Oh, oh gosh, was he trying to get me? He was trying to get me. Okay, this is a... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Okay, he's just running around right now. Um, I guess let's try to get him. Oh, he is quick. He is so quick. Ahanu can't even get... Okay, hold on. Just a second, too. Because the uh, sensitivity is insane right now. Okay. For the steering. And I don't want it to be that intense. Okay. All right, guys. Oh, whoa. 
Okay. He must have run off. No, he didn't. He's right there. I just want to get him. I just want to get him. All right. Well, Mahala is definitely concerned about this wolf. Ooh, she is definitely growling. Oh, oh, that's Mahala. Okay. I thought that was another wolf. Okay, we're just gonna stare at this wolf because he is just kind of running scared. So I don't really feel like it's a fair fight. Oh, there she goes! She's after him. Huh, okay. Well, Hana doesn't seem very concerned about this guy um, at all. He's kind of like, oh, this guy's a little bit of a nut burger. Like he, you know, maybe he's got like the rabies or something, you know? Like, Hanu's just kind of looking at him like, uh, he's not even worth our time, Mahala. He's crazed anyway. Whoa, and Mahala, her deep guttural growls, you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, well, Ahanu, I think we need to just kind of back away from here because we definitely don't want to contract whatever this wolf has um, because he definitely is just a little crazy. So we're going to continue on. Um, come on, Mahala, let's get away from this guy. He's just a bit of a weirdo. I mean, I guess it could be said that it would be nice for, you know, maybe if Ahano put him out of his misery since his mind seems to have become unhinged. But I think he's just not worth the effort or the possibility of contracting such a disease. So we are going to move on from that sickly wolf and find adventure elsewhere. Now we are still very tired. Um, so I almost think that we should still nap somewhere. But let's get away from this wolf and head on out of here and take a nap elsewhere. Huh, that was crazy, wasn't it, Mahala? That wolf back there. But Ahanu, as I've said, is definitely the curious type, but he knows when he is, you know, out of his element. All right, so I think this uh, area, it's pretty shaded and it's still in the forested area. So taking a nap here seems to be like a great idea. So let's go ahead and do so. All right, we rested a little bit. Mahala does not seem to be worried at all, but something woke us up out of our sleep. And we're not hungry yet. So, dangerous competitors are nearby. What's a dangerous competitor? A grizzly? Is it a grizzly bear that's nearby? Let's center around. I don't actually see anything. There's my mate. What is that down there? That must be the other wolves, so... I'm not seeing anything. Huh. Okay, well we'll have to center around. Let's go see if we can rustle up some food. Oh, her tail is up. Okay, so her tail is definitely up. Mahala knows something's nearby. Good girl, Mahala. Thank you for alerting me. What's this? Is this another wolf? Oh, this is an hour and a half ago. But that doesn't mean that they aren't still around here. An hour and 35 minutes ago. And 35 minutes ago. Let's see if we can't find them. This is an hour and 40, so we're actually going the wrong direction. Let's turn around and go back this way. But someone passed through here. Okay, her tail's up again. What is she seeing that I am not? Come on, Mahala, tell me what you're seeing. What is it, girl? I don't see anything, Mahala. What are you seeing that I'm not? There's something going on. There's a fox. Hmm. All right, well, let's get out of this area because I don't actually see what she's seeing. So let's go on this way. Whatever it is, it's over this way. 
and she's growling. Mahala, what is it? Will it show itself? Mahala? Mahala? Where is she? She's like right... Mahala? Oh gosh! It's a wolf! Oh my gosh, it's attacking Mahala! No! Get off of my mate! Oh, get off of my mate! Oh, don't you dare get on my mate! Get him, Mahala! You go! Mahala's like, I don't need a man to help me, but Ohana is gonna help you anyway. Okay. Oh, she has got him. He must have really attacked her. Get him, Ahanu. Oh, Mahalo's got him too. He must have really peeved her off for him to get her. Okay, or for her to get him. Yes! Work together, work together. Okay. Mahala is angry. All right, get him. Okay, we both got him by the leg. Ahanu is not a fan of anyone messing with his mate at all that is not something you do with him that's the one thing you never do is mess with his woman and mahala seems to have the same sentiment so we are gonna go after him you guys he's trying to retreat but it is not happening okay come on oh my gosh come on he is gonna learn not to mess with us Ugh. Ugh. All right. Yes. Everyone in this territory should know not to mess with Ahanu's mate. Oh, and he got some love for her. I love that. All right, you guys. So I'm thinking that that is where Mahala came from, was the Wapiti tribe. And because she left them, they are super angry that she did so and made it with Ahanu. So now she is getting... Oh, I attacked a fox. I didn't actually think mean to do that. Um, so they are trying to get back at her because if they cannot have her, then Ahanu can't have her. So, and she is certainly not going back there. I wonder if maybe Mahala came from just a really unstable pack life, you know, like maybe she came from a pack that was not as caring and considerate as Ahanu is with his own family. You know, they were like the roughest, toughest and treated all their pack members like that. All right, so we killed that fox, and I don't actually know what that did for us. But all right, I think Ahanu is just still so angry that he had to go attack something. He had to get that out of his system. Even though they killed that wolf, he still was not pleased. Okay, so I think we need to rest for a little bit more after killing that wolf. We are out in the open, so let's get into the shaded area of the trees. I think we need to actually just get out of the Wapiti territory to begin with. So we're going to have to go back through the forest because we are deep, deep, deep in Wapiti territory. So um, we're going to go over here and rest near this boulder and get some sleep. And then we will be on our way out of here soon. All right, so we are awake and Mahala instantly got up and must have seen something. She is on the defensive, it looks like. Hmm. All right, well, we aren't actually hungry yet, which is good to note. So we are going to go ahead and start getting out of this territory. Oh, look at her. She's like laying down. It's raining. She's like, oh, do we really have to go? <laughs> I love these two. They are the cutest little beans I've ever seen. Oh, I just love them. Oh, gosh. All right. They are absolutely perfect. And we are going to get on our way. Mahala, I see Ahanu can't help but just stare into his mate's eyes. You know, she has the most gorgeous blue eyes he has ever seen. Her coat is the most luxurious russet coat. She just has the genes of a queen. 
and finding a suitable den site to mate with her is going to be high on Ahanu's priority list. So that is something that we have to look forward to. But you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next part, we are going to hightail it out of the Wapiti territory like the world is on fire because if, as we said, a Mahala's pack is after her, we want to get as far away from them as possible. Not that Ohanu cannot take on the challenge, but... I think he wants to get his strength up first before he takes on her entire tribe. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.